This is the story of a man marked by an image from childhood. Of a truth too fantastic to be believed, he retains the essential, an unreachable country, a long way to go. There is something shocking about a family, the way they gather together, all looking the same, the way they don't gather together. At the back of the house, the lawn stretched out like a sheet, as if flung by the rockery. There was a shed in which children conducted business. There was a room with a frilled counterpane. As a child, I compiled lists of names on long train journeys. Adelaide, Alice, Aline. Why do you think I did that? Some letters carried a sorrow they couldn't shake off like N, such a sad letter, always in the shadow of M. I don't know why you care so much about other people's poetry. Time would pull in corners abominably. I mean the things they say, and I mean the things other people say about other people's poetry. I am now so old. Most of what I read doesn't interest me. The whole world is so prosaic. Do you believe in omens? Of one thing I am absolutely positive, there are certain things we cannot know. One day the shadows will take over the house and I will ask you once and for all to join me in this firmament. I do not want to see myself in another's image whose particularities become a symbol I could not see past my own voice, which will one day be still.